Hello everyone, thank you for watching the tutorials and giving me your valuable feedback. Today we will learn about the deployment of SAP RFI Fury application to SAP BTP which is business technology platform. I have divided the deployment in 5 steps. These 5 steps are easy to understand and remember. Please watch the full video and I assure you that you will never forget these steps. Kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comments. Here are five steps. By following these steps, you can deploy the SAP UFI application to the business technology platform. The first step is you should have a SAP UFI project ready in SAP Business Application Studio. Second step is to subscribe STM5 application repository service in the BTP platform. Generate MT archive file using MTA build tool. This is a cloud integrated tool with Business Application Studio. Deploy the application using SAP Business Application command line interface by giving the commands. Run the recently deployed UFI app from the STL5 applications in BTP. Let's see practically how to deploy the app in BTP platform. Here are these five steps by which we will deploy the SAP UFI application to SAP Business Technology Platform. First thing is we should have a SAP UFI project ready, and then we will do the Cloud Foundry login. So currently, if you do not have any SAP UFI application ready for the deployment, no worries. You can go to the Tactics India github page and there is a there is an app my bank details you can clone this application in your business application studio this link i will provide you in the description first go to the code button and copy this url now go to your business application studio open the terminal by pressing ctrl j or you can click on this button and you can open and close the terminal now terminal is open i will write a command git clone and i will paste that URL here and I will hit enter. With a fraction of second, the application is available in the right side panel, my bank details. When you first time clone, it might ask you for the details in the Git, right? Your credentials might be possible, but generally it won't ask you. Now, since we have our application ready, we first need to make sure that the application is running locally. And to do that, we have to install the NPM module inside a project folder because right, right now there are no module available so what will happen if you will put any command line commands like npm run start which is a command to run the application locally it won't work and the reason it is it will not work is because it will say uh, that uh, there is some problem or maybe fury not found or sorry i have put the npm run start directly to the projects folder i need to do it inside the my bank details so let me close this and open this again now this time first I will go inside the project folder, my bank underscore details, and now I will put the command npm run start. Now it won't work. It will say Fury not found, and the reason being there is no node module associated with the application project folder. So to include the node module, we will put a command npm. Writing this command, we it will automatically create a node modules folder here where all the modules would be available. Now we can write the any other command in our project and that would work fine. It won't give us the error like fury not found or anything like that. Now I will try to run the application locally. npm run start because the application should be running state. I mean locally it should be running it because if you will deploy the corrupt version of the application, it won't work in the cloud as well. So for that reason, we should make sure the locally our application is running npm module is installed so this is our app that we have built previously in the previous tutorials here is a logo of a company the account number it displays the ifs code and in more details we can find different details there is some problem that i need to fix that i would do it probably now and because it is not displaying the text i know where is the problem and here is the spending loan emi and entertainment that the spending of the company and uh, these are the semantic colors so loan emi is in the good shape but how house spending is very high that's why it displayed in the error and the entertainment is also high that's why we have displayed it in the semantic color critical so here are the car details so i hope everyone is aware about the application so let me fix this problem i will go to the sap business application studio and i will open the controller file so in controller, when I was putting the, when I was doing the code refactoring, by mistake, I have declared the IHN and model on the top that I should not do. And the reason is the IHN and model, we required 
once we select the language app language so whether it's spanish for es or ihn if we declare at the end it is much more helpful because the app language is the parameter we are passing while getting the model and if i declare it on the top as it was earlier it would create a problem it because it won't be able to find it will be able to find the app language variable declaration but it won't find any value inside it right because value we are assigning in the next step so that's the reason this part should be declared here and now let me just put one let and now if i will save my application the application would be working fine our application is running and we can see the more details now the tags are coming the labels confidential details okay so our application is up and running locally you can see on the in the url there is a port 8080 on which our application running locally now we are going to deploy this application on the sap business technology platform i will close the controller now i need to follow the steps so this is second step where we have to subscribe to stn5 application repository service where we will find this service let's see you need to go to your btp cockpit once you will log in it will lend you to this page you need to go to your trial account this is your trial account the global account this is this part is also your organization now go inside your trial account underneath your global account there could be multiple sub accounts and in sub account there would be multiple information but in your sub account trial account there would be one environment cloud foundry environment and these are the details of the cloud foundry environment like organization name api endpoint organize organize id name and these are the spaces now spaces is an independent and secure virtual work environment created by an administrator and here we get it by default and there could be multiple spaces like production quality development okay so i will give you a complete detail about the btp cockpit but right now we are going to subscribe the service so to subscribe the service you need to first check whether the service is already available or not and to check it you can go to the entitlements in the left side if i can close everything in the left side inside your trial account you need to go to entitlements now entitlement is your right to provision and consumer resource in other words entitlements are the service plans that you are entitled to use now here are the service plans so first search with html5 we couldn't find the service so that means we have to subscribe it click on the configure entitlements now click on the add service plan and in this option you select html and you will find the html5 application repository service click on this select app host and app runtime we would require both and add it to the service plan and now save it now our service is subscribed and we have saved it in the entitlements let's move to the sap business application studio so now third step is to deploy the application and create it create generate the build is the fourth step so these are the two commands by which you can deploy your application now let me open the terminal again by pressing control j or let me create a new terminal delete the last terminal and i'm creating a new terminal hope everyone can see now npm run deploy npm run deploy config there are two commands whenever you are not sure if all the project files are up to date everything is okay to deploy if you are not sure about it you first run the command npm run deploy config and it will generate the files which are missing from the configuration missing from the project the files which are essential for the deployment so let's go inside the project folder cd my bank underscore details here now i will run this command npm run deploy hyphen config as soon as i run this command it will ask me in which area you want to deploy your application i mean you want to it will ask me you want to deploy your application in cloud foundry or you want to deploy your application in the on premise system for now we are going to deploy it on cloud foundry so i will click cloud i will select cloud foundry by arrow up and down button and i will hit enter right now we do not have any destination service so i will keep it as none and now if you will see there is an text identical access app.json and there is one more identical uifi deploy.yml now these are the files which are essential for the deployment and it is saying identical it means the files are already there so it will not regenerate or recreate the file but in case if these files are missing it would add it automatically so this part is done now let's do the cf login the cloud foundry login since we are into our trial account which is a cloud foundry account so here we have to i just clicked on the trial this is the cloud foundry environment 
I have to copy this API endpoint. When you will do it first time, it will ask you which Cloud Foundry environment you want to deploy your app and the way it will identify the Cloud Foundry environment using this API endpoint. And eventually, it will put the application inside the space. It will ask you while the deployment, which devs, like which space you want to deploy your app. Inside the dev, you will find all the application deployed in this environment. So right now, there is nothing. And if I can go back, I have copied the API endpoint, which is an identity of my Cloud Foundry environment. I will go back to Business Application Studio. And this time, I will run the command npm run plug. But you will see that it won't deploy the application. And the reason being, first, CF login, of course, we have to do login. But another thing, even after CF login, it won't deploy because there is an, another step that we need to follow is the generate empty archive file using MTA build tool. So Business Application Studio uses Cloud MTA build tool to build the project according to configurations specified in the MTA.yml file. So MTA.yml file is important for the deployment. And here is a pre-built configurations which are done. If, when you will go deeper into the SAP UFI project deployment and SAP UFI app development, you will understand there are certain parameters that we can change. But right now, we won't change it because it's not required. For rare cases, we have to change certain parameters. So the MTA build tool would create a build out of this project because we can't deploy all the files to the Cloud Foundry environment. So it will create a build out of this project, which will consist of all the information of this project. And that MTAR, which is called multi-target application archive MTR file, that file we will deploy to SAP Business Technology Platform. So first, let me do the CF login. And the way to log in the CF is, uh, sorry, I have written on the wrong page. Okay, yes. Now let me close it and open a new one so you can clearly see what commands I'm writing. And now I'm going to write the command CF login to log in the Cloud Foundry environment. The API endpoint automatically selected because I have done it several times. But for you, it might ask you which API endpoint. And in case if you have the multiple Cloud Foundry environment, like multiple sub accounts and things like that. So in that case, it will definitely ask you to add the API endpoint. For now, it is coming. Now, you use the same credentials which you used for BTP cockpit login. The same credentials you use here, like your email address. In case, if you are not aware, you can click here and go to the user information. It will provide you your username, your email address, and password, of course, you must know. I have put my email address, and now I will log in by writing the password. It is authenticating, and now it is displaying me that this is your user, this is your organization trial, this is your space. So in underneath our Cloud Foundry environment, there is one space, dev space. That's why it is showing me the dev space. So it has login to the correct environment. Now, if I will try to run NPM, run, deploy, it won't deploy the app. And the reason being, it is not able to find MTAR file, the MT underscore archive folder. So MTAR file, the multi-target application archive file is not available. So we have to generate that file. And the process to generate that file is that you right click on the MTA.yml file, which is essential for your deployment. That's why it is essential because it carries all the information for the deployment. And using this file, you can create a build using the internal tool, which is MTA build tool core cloud. So click on the MTA build MTA project. And as soon as you click it, it will start building the MTA file. And you will notice a new folder would be created left side panel which is called empty archive, empty archive folder. Now the folder is created. Now inside this folder, we have that file, which we can directly deploy to cloud. Now there are two ways of deployment. The first is you can right click on this file. Let me show you the extension of the file. It is MTR, multi-target application archive file. Now I can right click here and I can deploy empty archive directly to the SAP business technology platform, cloud from the environment, because I have already logged in. So if you'll click this, it will deploy. The another way of doing it using, if you are passionate about writing using MTA YAML, now we can right click and deploy the MTA archive file. And it will check and it will deploy the application on the cloud. You can also achieve the same by writing the command npm run deploy, this command that I displayed to you initially. And if you will run this command, it will do the same thing. It will take this file and it will deploy it to SAP business technology platform. So right now our application is deploying. 
it is creating the services the html5 services destination services uh, host services access ui services now these are the uh, greater concept there is something called uh, security access.json file and there are different things right so the application I mean, the information that the access security .json file has is that the application can perform scope checks, like functional authorization checks and intense based authorization checks. So these these kind of files covers the areas like authorization scope, attributes, role templates. You can restrict the user. Now the application is deployed. Yes, so you can restrict the user from the SAP RFI application. Yes, these kind of tasks are available. So this we will cover in our advanced course. If you are really passionate about learning, we will cover that. Now. Let's see if our application is running or not. Go to HTML5 applications. And ideally, our application should be available here because we have subscribed to the service. So if we want to access a particular app, we have, OK, so our application is coming. Now if I will click on this hyperlink, it will open the application. It will run the application in the cloud. And the difference between the app that we run last time and the app which is running here, so there is no shell plugin or anything right there is no scroll up and down if you will notice locally when there was scroll up and down it is because we were running it using the launchpad module but right now this is a single page application which is running in the cloud and by looking at the url you can identify since this is the org name the cloud foundry environment org name that you can see in our cloud foundry environment spaces you can go inside it i mean in the overview page also it is available if i can click on cloud foundry so the same name is visible in the URL. It means this application is running in the cloud. And the other app that we run locally, that is running on the port 8080. So that's the difference, that this app is running locally, and another one is running on cloud. So that's the difference. That's how you can deploy your application to the BTP. Thank you so much for your participation. I'm your instructor, Navin Sharma from TechTorts India. If you have any query, you can write me an email gmail.com. We have an official email, but that we provide to specifically to the students. So I have no indoor share my direct and things. I mean the complete email address. This is my website, techtoolsindia.com. And if you have any query, you can reach me out there. You can find my courses on techtoolsindia.com. You can be a part of live training. We are going to start a live training in the next two days. So if you are really passionate about learning SAP RFI and Fury, you can reach out to me. And from my website, you can find my contact details and we can connect over a call or using text or chat support. And then I would explain you, I would share you a document with you, what kind of learnings we do, what you will learn from the course. And if you feel that this is something what you are looking for, we can close the deal and uh, then we can learn the advanced concepts in SAP BTP platform and the Cloud Foundry environment. Thank you so much. Happy learning. Have a great day.